all praises, honor, and glory to the Most High God, Yahweh Fahashem, Hamashayak, Yahweh Shah, Yahweh being the name of the Most High God, creator of all things, Yahweh Shah, in the name of His Son, who died for our sins, that we may be reconciled unto the Father. Right? So this your brother Prince Malachi, sons of Jacob Tulsa. And we back at it again with another quick, quick tool slash quick exhortation. You know what I'm saying? Powerful tool right here. You know, through the power and the spirit of the most high God, y'all by me, I was shot, man. So I'm gonna I'm gonna break y'all off this quick little tool that I came up on, you know what I'm saying? And hopefully it can help you the same way it helped help me, right? So this is the book of sight, right? Chapter 23, and I'm going to read down to verse 6. Verse 5 and 6 is the point, though. Also, verse 4. But you can take what you need out of it. The whole thing is nice. Uh, Sirach chapter 23 and verse 1. O Lord, Father, and Governor of all my whole life, lead me not to their counsels, and let me not fall by them. See that? You need that. Who will set scourges over my thoughts? And the discipline of wisdom over mine heart, that they spare me not for mine ignorances, and it pass not by my sins. Lest mine ignorances increase, and my sins abound to my destruction, and I fall before mine adversaries, and mine enemy rejoice over me, whose hope is far from thy mercy. O Lord, Father and God of my life, give me not a proud look, but turn away from thy servants, always a haughty mind. So he say, don't take away a proud look from me and take away a haughty mind from me. You need this. And let me tell you why. Pride will get you smoked, simple and plain. So, you know, you need this in your bag. Pray to the most high that he takes away the spirit of pride from you. There's no point in time when you need that pride to get you smoked. Uh, verse 6. Let not the greediness of the belly, nor the lust of the flesh take hold of me, and give not over me thy servant to an impudent mind. Damn, did I skip verse 5? So like you. Verse 5 is a banger. Turn away from me vain hopes and concupiscence, and thou shalt hold him up that is desirous always to serve thee. So if you don't know what, so vain hopes, right? Vain goes into empty, meaningless, you know, turn away from me. Turn away from me vain hopes and concupiscence. So vain hopes goes into empty, void, you know, meaningless hopes, man. You know, don't be hoping for, for things that are meaningless, man. When you pray to the Most High, it got to make sense, man. Don't be, don't be pulling up on the Most High with vanity, man. You know, it got to make sense. And uh, it's a concupiscence. Uh... If you don't know what concupiscence means, it goes into strong sexual desire and lust. You know what I'm saying? So this is a mighty prayer against uh, foolish thoughts, pride, uh, lust. You know what I'm saying? This is something that's going to help you overcome them, them battles and them strongholds through the power and the might and the spirit of Yahweh by Shema Mashiach Yahweh Shah. So, you know what I'm saying? It say, turn away from me vain hopes and concupiscence, and thou shalt hold him up that is desirous always to serve thee. So he going to hold up the person, the brother, the sister that is always desirous to serve him. Someone who is ready unto every good work. Somebody who is eager to do the work of the ministry. Somebody who is eager to love the Most High. Eager to love their people. Eager to serve. Eager to put their brick in. This is the kind of, this is the kind of person... It's the kind of person that he won't. You see what I'm saying? Verse 6. Let not greediness of the belly nor lust of the flesh take hold of me. And give not over me thy servant into an impudent mind. So let not greediness of the belly nor the lust of the flesh take hold of me. You don't want the lust of the flesh and the greediness of the belly to take hold of you, man. You don't want them, them you don't want them strongholds attaching themselves to you, man, and these demons dealing with you don't want that, man. You want you want to you want to break free of these things, man, through the power and the spirit of the most high God, Yahweh by Shem Yahweh Shai. Fight them off every time they pull up on you. See what I'm saying? He say, uh And give not over me thy servant into an impudent mind. This is so key because uh, if you don't know what impudent goes into, it goes into not having respect. 
or authority. Like someone who's impudent would be somebody who, uh, you know, they don't fear the most high no more. They don't really, uh, they don't really care, you know, it's whatever. They don't, they don't respect the most high God's authority, you know, with him being the creator of all things, having authority over all flesh, over the, the whole earth, living things, you know, in the whole earth. They don't respect that. The creator of the heavens. They don't respect that. They don't respect you how it's shot, man, and his his blood sacrifice, man, that we can be reconciled to the Father. They don't respect that. They step on that. Like Hebrews 10 and 26. This is not the kind of person you want to be. You know what I'm saying? You don't want to have an impudent mind. But that'd be a lot of times what brothers are given to. You know what I'm saying? You don't want to be given into an impudent mind. That's the last thing. You you don't want that to happen at all. You know? Uh, somebody who impudent, they won't repent. Somebody who's impudent, they won't accept correction. And you know, uh, the scripture teaches that uh, a person who can't accept correction shall die. You know, uh, roughly paraphrasing. You don't want to be this kind of person. You want to be humble, meek. You know what I'm saying? You want to walk with humility and meekness. That's one of the fruits of the spirit. Um, so you can't be walking in an impudent mind, man. But, uh, yeah, so this is a mighty prayer, man. He said, give not over me thy servant into an impudent mind. Because you can be given over unto that. Yeah, you can. So, it's good to pray against that, to pray against pride. It's a good prayer to cut down pride. Cut down uh, vain hopes and concupiscence, you know, strong desire, strong lusts. You know, this is a good prayer for that. And to keep you away from an impudent mind, man. And to cut down them demons and them strongholds and keep them up off you, man. You know what I'm saying? You got to stay watch. You got to stay watching. You got to be a watchman over your own spirit, over the people around you. And that's love. You dig what I'm saying? Because you let the wrong, you, you let the wrong, you let the wrong thoughts start creeping up. And the next thing you know, you're dealing with them. You're entertaining them. And the next thing you know, you're doing stuff you know you ain't supposed to be doing. Next thing you know, you're giving over to an impudent mind. You see that how that happened? You should, you should have been watching. You're a watchman. Uh, but really, I just, I just brought this to y'all to encourage y'all to man. Use your tools that you got before you, man. The Most High God gave us prayer, man. He hears our prayer. Do you, do you understand that? The Most High God hears our prayers. Y'all don't get it, man. Oh, I got a precept. This uh, 1 John 3 and 22. Man, you got to have that faith and understand that he hears you, man. It's 1 John 3 and 22. Whatsoever we ask, we receive of him. Because we keep his commandments and do those things that are pleasing in his sight. So whatsoever we ask, we receive of him because we keep his commandments. And that don't mean go asking him from, oh, I want to, um, you know, don't go asking the most high for no foolishness, man. For no vain reasons, man. You know, don't do that. You want it to make sense. You know, so put some thought. Before you pray unto the creator of all things, man. Diligently consider what you finna say to the most high God before you just go to praying, man. Uh, don't, because he say he will not regard vanity. You know what I'm saying? Um, whatsoever we ask, we receive of him, man. Because we keep his commandments and do those things that are pleasing in his sight, man. So Lord willing, this, is a, this increase your faith, man. You know, Cyrax 23, that's a quick tool, powerful prayer, you know, and it covers a lot of ground, pride, um, lust, um, an impudent mind. You do not want an impudent mind, ladies and gentlemen, trust me. If y'all, go look into what impudent means, man. And you're going to understand that's something you want to stay far away from at all costs, man. So uh, it's a quick exhortation as well, man. If you fall, get back up. You ain't got time to keep on sitting, man. Don't be afraid to put the faith with the works, man. And pray unto the Most High, man. You got to be on it like you want it, man. You got to believe it and know it, man. You got to know that he's hearing your prayers, man. You got to know that he, he he's a he's a he's a father that uh. Let me let me get that. 
Damn, they trying to they trying to shut me down, y'all. Talking about low storage. I'm gonna get it anyway, right quick. I'm gonna get it anyway. Matthew seven and nine. Of or what man is there of you, whom if his son ask bread, will he give him a stone? Or if he ask a fish, will he give him a serpent? If ye then, being evil, know how to give good gifts unto your children, how much more shall your father which is in heaven give good things to them? That ask him. So if you ask him to help you defend your spirit, if you ask him to help you increase your memory in the scriptures, if you ask him for this thing and this thing, he will give that to you because you keep his commandments and you love him. You know what I'm saying? So continue in patience, enduring to the end, put the faith with the works. This being your brother, Prince Malachi, sons of Jacob, toss all praise, honor, and glory to the most high God, Yahweh, Shem, Yahweh, Shah. Peace and blessings, family.